Research is finally starting to bear some fruit, and so that's really exciting. I think we have close to 18 potential new treatments in the pipeline. We also have an FDA that is now more open. Reduction in proteinuria is being one of the indicators to approve a drug to become on label. So these things uh, are, are, are movements from the FDA that have been very positive. This didn't used to be the case just a few years ago. Finally, we have academia working with the industry and with private foundation to expedite in a fast track approach the development from discovery to clinical development. It is a very good moment in time where we can really really push forward and make significant progress. But again, an important ingredient is patient participation. We have so many clinical trials, we don't actually know where, where to enroll patients and what to do. Without patients, you can't really know if the drug will work on human beings. So if you don't have patients involved, you, you'll never have um, advancement. Uh, so patient input is absolutely crucial. So it takes two? Um, to tango, as they say, and so it takes the doctors being able to better partner with patients and explain things, and it takes the patients being open and willing to receive this information um, and be willing to participate. It's difficult to recruit patients quite often for clinical trials. Unfortunately, in, in some specialties, you don't have enough patients recruited, so you can't really come to a solid enough conclusion about whether or not uh, the agent um, that's being tested works well. That can actually stall development. We gotta use this timing to try to get those trials on and try to get those drugs approved. So it is important that patients participate, say that they want to be counted for participation in clinical trials, and also tell us what works or doesn't work so we can design trials appropriately to fit their needs. Otherwise, you know, we have no clinical trial, we have no cure, so.